is Mohesh Shavi and in this video I just wanted to introduce you to a pretty cool tool called Flora and let's check it out. I'm in uh, this website it's called florafauna.ai and uh, this is sort of like a visual mind mapping style AI um, boat. So we have the space right now so let's jump into it. I just discovered it so I'm also learning the whole tool. So we are here and we can click on new project and it will create a new project for us. And we are in the space so we can name the project so i'm just going to call it test and this is our canvas it's an infinity canvas so we can double click anywhere in this to create a block or we can start with something which is here so for instance if you just want to start with something like typography variation if you want to just explore uh, different characters and glyphs you can just click here and it will create a project with um, typography variations for a particular character right so if you just go here you can see that it all started with this um, thought of a single letter c and it just started exploring different ways of rendering that c so this is a pre-made uh, template and we can still work on it we can just click uh, and we can work on it um, but let's uh, start blank right without any of this um, assistance let's go blind right so we are not going to um, use any of this pre-made um, you know node system we can click here on this left side toolbar and we can create stuff so if you click here you can add blocks it can be a text uh, just like chat GPT, you can ask uh, or give directions or prompts textual prompts here you can generate an image or you can generate a video so let's start with the text. So we're going to say um, maybe, you know, um, something like a man in the crowd, right? So I'm just going to keep it something like that. And it gave me a prompt of a solitary figure stands among the sea of faces and boring and all that stuff. So now what we have it, we can keep ideating from here. So if you just take this node and drag it and drop it anywhere, you can create a block uh, from that. So let's say if I want to generate an image right from this, all I have to do is connect it and click render and it's going to uh, process the image. We haven't given anything else here. We just took that, connected it into a new AI block and it, it is generating an image uh, there. So we have an image before this. So we can now modify this as well. So if you uh, click this, drag it and say that if I want another image and then I want to modify it into a different style, you can click here and you can modify that. So um, let's say I'm going to say make atmospheric uh, night neon lights. So as I was saying, this is an infinity canvas, so it, it can you can just go zoom in, zoom out and all that and you can see. Okay, so it took this and it created a variation with the suggestions that we have given. Now we can do, take this and say that, okay, I want to generate a video from here and click this. So I'm not going to give any more inputs there. I'm just going to say that, just create a video from there. So you can move the node anywhere that you want. And it is generating a video. Now, while it is doing it, we can actually work on something else as well. So if you just double click anywhere, you can create a block, which is not connected to this thought. It can be a completely different one. So for instance, if I'm going to just go to an image and uh, I'm going to upload an image into this, an image that I have in my desktop, right? I'm just going to upload that image into it. And that image that I uploaded into it is actually here. And I want to say that use this as an inspiration to generate an image. So let's say if I'm going to say this, um, create variation. So it's an original image and I'm going to take it and just want to create some more variations for this. Meanwhile, uh, the video is getting ready there. Let's see. Okay, created a variation. Uh, okay, this is interesting. So when I did that, it actually used the, the form of this image and it created something with uh, toys. Uh, all right, so I, I didn't give that information because I didn't connect this text here, right? So maybe that could be the thing. It just looked at the form 
and created a variation of that without any textual input. I didn't give it, I didn't connect it there, right? So I might have to take this and connect it here. Uh, so maybe, let's say if I uh, sort of, uh, let's say, okay, we can, I think we can download the video right now. All right, not bad, not bad. It created a video from the MS that we created. And let's see this as well. Right, this is pretty cool, right? So it created an image which sort of has the same style. Okay, it works, it works. So this is very interesting. I'm yet to explore this, but I just wanted to give you a heads up to get started with this. And I'll see you with another video soon. Till then, bye.